Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. La Russa de Santans Lima and Cole Johnson back with more drama for the new season of Nandy de Fiancy Happily Ever After. The newly divorced couple is trying to move forward with their lives, but in the premiere episode, Larissa reveals she's facing issues with her immigration status. So with her history of legal issues and finalized divorce, fans are wondering if Larissa can be deported back to Brazil. After talking to each other online, Nandy Defiancy stars Colt and Larissa get engaged when they met in person in Cancun, Mexico. Colt applied for Larissa to come to the US from Brazil on an Nandy Day K1 Fiancy visa, and within a few months of her arrival, the two were married in Colt's hometown of Las Vegas in June 2018. But their marriage didn't last long. They fought constantly, and Colt ended up calling the police on Larissa multiple times. She was charged with three separate counts of domestic violence and subsequently went to court and served community service to lessen the charges. Larissa and Colt got divorced in 2019, but at the time, according to Larissa, her green card application had already been filed. In a now-deleted post on Instagram in August 2019, Larissa shared a photograph of herself in front of a US immigration office holding various documents, hinting she was on her way to becoming an American citizen. But when fans questioned how she could get naturalized with a criminal history and divorce, she insisted she wasn't lying and already had her biometrics taken. Cold, who applied for Larissa's immigration in the first place, didn't address the post directly. But he did share a link to a webpage that mentions deportation as a consequence of falsely claiming to be a citizen, regardless of whether the claim is made intentionally or not. On the season premiere of 90 Day Fiancy Happily Ever After, Larissa gives viewers an update about her new life post-divorce. She's moving on with the new relationship and new appearance, but she confesses that her past legal issues continue to haunt her. Living with Colt and Debbie was hell, says Larissa. Most close of a nightmare. Since I've been in America, I got arrested three times for domestic violence, and finally after the third arrest, Colt and I, we separated. She reveals that her friend Carmen, who is also from Brazil, bailed her out of jail after the third arrest and gave her a place to leave. It was in this time frame that Larissa also met her new boyfriend Eric Nichols, who she broke up with recently but got back together with. But the reality star says she still has worrying legal issues to deal with. I still had to handle my third arrest, and I was worried, afraid to be deported, she says. Her lawyer, who's been handling her domestic violence cases from the start, tells Larissa that her current charges could get in the way of her becoming a citizen. In the premiere episode of 90 Day Fiancy Happily Ever After, Larissa also notes that she has finished fulfilling her community service requirements and hopes her charges are dropped from domestic violence to disorderly conduct. But the reality star says Cold hindered her green card application process, and this could inevitably lead to her deportation. Colt cancelled my affidavit of support, he cancelled my green card, Larissa says in the episode. This means that I have to find another way to stay here, I have no idea what's going to happen to me, and I'm very scared to be arrested again and be deported forever. My master plan was to come to America, fall in love, bring my kids here, and have the family that I dream of, she continues, but the dream is fading away. It seems as if Larissa is truly worried about staying in the country. She has yet to post an update about her immigration status on her social media pages, but fans will likely learn more details as the new season unfolds. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.